Okay, YouTube friends. So this will be my third episode of the uh, A1708 MacBook internal SSD upgrade. In the first episode, I introduced this brand new adapter that can convert the uh, standard M.2 NVMe SSD to your laptop MacBook uh, stock SSD. And I used the uh, Toshiba XG5 as example. It worked, however, once you close the lid for a period of time, your MacBook will never wake up. So in my second episode, I used Samsung PM961. So the good news, the Samsung is fully compatible. Do not have any hibernation or uh, wake up issue. Uh, once I removed this metal piece, the bottom surface is, is not perfect, but it's acceptable. So today, I have two objectives. First, I would like to test if the uh, Hynix SSD, whether it's fully compatible with A1708 model. And the second objective is someone asked, how can I pre-install Mac OS on this type of SSD. So today I will show you the techniques I use to have macOS pre-installed. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to demonstrate how you can pre-install macOS. To do that, you need a uh, NVMe uh, external enclosure. Then um, you attach the external SSD to the laptop. The first thing I would like to do is to format the SSD. As you can see, I will use the uh, disk utility tool. I will select the external SSD and I will erase it and choose the, uh, the right format I need. For now, I'm going to choose Mac OS Extended Journal because I'm going to install Mac OS Mojave for the testing purpose. Since I already formatted, I don't want to redo the process. Okay, once it's done, the second software you'll need is called SuperDuper. You may have heard of another software called uh, Carbon Clone thing which basically works the same. The reason I'm choosing SuperDuper is this is a free software and it works fine for me. Okay, so what I'm planning to do is this software actually can help me uh, clone a Mac OS image onto the external SSD. So I s select the USB image I purposely made and I select for the, for the this is a source image and this is the destination SSD drive and once it's done I click copy it will do erase again and you wait for a few minutes and it's done okay so in case you wonder how can I get a Mac OS image in the first place well this is how you can do it so basically you can uh, download the Mac OS Mojave directly from Apple website. Then you can double click, launch this application, choose to install on um, this external SSD. Once you've done that, you can use SuperDuper, select the uh, already installed SSD, and select a disk image. This is a way you can create a disk image. This is the, uh, the common practice that people use uh, to have Mac OS installed. For instance, let me show you. Yeah, so here, uh, let's random click the first link. Here you can see this is a, uh, a third party SSD and the seller claim Mac OS has already been installed. Basically, they were using the same technique that I just demonstrated to have Mac OS installed pre-installed, uh, in case you wonder how they do that. Okay, now this part is done. 
I'm going to open up my MacBook and test whether the Hynix is fully compatible, whether it has a hibernation issue or not. Now I will have NVMe SSD mounted. It should be no thicker than the Apple stock SSD. It seems Mac OS is booting. Okay, this is good. I'm pretty sure it will have no problem booting Mac OS. Okay, now that I have waited long enough, let's see if it works. Okay. Well, sadly it does not. At this point, we can probably conclude that neither the Hynix nor the Toshiba is compatible with 1708 MacBook. The only thing tested working at this point is the Samsung. Yeah. So if you like this type of video, please subscribe and leave comments. Thank you so much. See you. Bye bye.